Uh, our conference is closing. Thank you for the fantastic presence. Thank you for the fantastic discussions. I'm really excited about it. Uh, please share your experiences uh, online, offline. I do hope this conference becomes a tradition. It's an, I would say it's our first conference, but it's certainly the first conference after the prolonged COVID break. The last conference was in 2019 in Weizmann Institute, and then for three years, we had no live conferences. Our Vedic Association had no live conference. Now we renew our efforts, and I do hope this is just the beginning of a very fruitful and, and very powerful road ahead. As you know, this conference uh, wasn't intended as a, just a scientific exchange. It was intended uh, very specifically, very explicitly as a means of advocacy to raise uh, support for the longevity field, public support, uh, academic support, uh, governmental support. I hope if we made even a small contribution toward this goal, uh, we did our part. Uh, there is another thing that stays on the agenda uh, that is adopting the revolution. I will not, uh, you know, put you through, through another um, discussion, but basically uh, this resolution that you can see online of the Longevity Nation uh, conference, uh, Longevity Nation site, and the special section re uh, resolution that basically recapitulates the three main points of, uh, of, um, of the section that Vedic Association introduced into the Israel National Master Plan on Aging strategic areas of discussion, namely increasing funding for aging research, increasing education on aging and longevity, developing and implementing metrics uh, for preventive um, uh, treatment of aging health. Uh, so these are the three main points that we introduced into the Israel National Master Plan on Aging. And the very name of our conference is exactly as the name of that program, Enhancing Healthy, longe uh, healthy Longevity Research, Development and Education. That's exactly how it is written in the Knesset program. So the goal of this conference was to revive this program, uh, to uh, make it sure that it doesn't just stay on paper, that nobody even remembers this document exists, but to make it into an actual program. And the resolution of our uh, uh, conference is exactly a recapitulation of those three points with some, um, with some explanation, with some uh, commentary, but that's the, the main three points we want to bring to the attention of the government. There were no special um, uh, objections to this resolution. We passed it around to the, um, uh, the speakers. There were no objections, uh, with, except with some suggestion to emphasize international aspect. And of course, what we are doing, we're not just doing for Israel, we're doing for everybody. I believe we, if we advance in Israel, it will be easier to advance in with other countries through cooperation, through example. And of course, uh, anything that we develop here in Israel will serve the whole world because obviously the issue is global, not just for Israel, but also for the Middle East generally for the world generally. Uh, so uh, I believe as there were no objections, uh, this resolution can be adopted. And so we will pass it uh, on to the, uh, to the government, to the decision makers, to the press as an open letter. Um, so once again, uh, I thank you and I thank you for, for the opportunity to make this contribution together. And once again, this is just a start. We will continue hopefully annually um, as we have uh, resources and uh, in any case, we'll continue our work. We are really reviving after three years break. And once again, thank you so much for being here with us.